Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 25th, 26th, and 27th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, for my Aquariuses. Hello, my Aquariuses. How are you? We are officially in Libra season, which is an air, which is air sign just like you. Okay? Okay. Now, you know that when I'm doing, when I'm reading for my weekend reading, I'm using, and oh, cards are just flopping out here for you. I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Arc, I'm sorry, I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. Oh my gosh, they just keep flopping. And then I pull, I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I really, I really strongly suggest going back to the Libra overview, not only the Aquarius and Libra, um, you know, season, but also the Libra overview to kind of see what's going to be happening with a lot of the planetary movement. Now, I have three cards. They are all face up. Um, but they are the first and third are reversed. Reversed cards have stronger energy. That's how I read them. And it's like kind of like, you know, like, you know, get alert type of energy. Now, I am an intuitive, re I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power. Whatever the message is that comes through, it comes through and I just deliver it. I don't have to understand it. So let's see what we have for my Aquariuses for the weekend. First card up, again, this one is reversed, and this one is the seven of water. Water energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. It's fluid, it's very emotion, it's something that's got your heart. What is it that you've been wanting to do? What is it that you've been wanting to change, my Aquariuses? So, sevens have that divine type of influence to it. It's kind of like you know, okay, I'm doing my best, I'm going towards what I want, but remember, it has to meet the divine, it has to work within the divine plan. Now, one of these things that I ask of you to do, especially because, you know, I'm doing this today on the fall or on the autumn equinox, so there's a lot of strong energy with that, um, and there will be as we get closer to the, you know, the, it, it will continue as we get closer into you know, that weekend. One of the thing is, things is put it out there, put it out there to the universe, to, you know, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, divine, whoever that is, to your archangels. Ask for some guidance. Ask for some help. Because this is an emotionally gripping time for you. This is like it wants to just take your heart and it's like, what am I going to do? It's kind of like, you know, you can almost feel like your heart beating that much faster for whatever this is. This is about making some decisions, making, you know, and what you've been always, you always have decisions to make, my Aquarius says, I think you were born under the sign of decisions, okay? It's like you're given, you know, you get so many things, you know, thought processes, you think so much, you know, you, you, you again, decisions, decisions. But this one is, again, I feel like the heart, I feel like the heart wants to leap. It wants to leap out of itself, out of itself. I'm not saying that, you know, anyone's going to have that, you know, type of that happen. But it's like there is such a heart tug and a heart pull towards whatever this is all about. Whatever this decision, whatever this energy, whatever this um, possible new direction is about. So I feel that there's going to be a really, this is going to be a really strong I feel really strong divine intervention with this. Use that. Use that. Okay? Use that. Anyway. A complex decision, the need to do research, stop procrastinating. Now, your next card, again, this one is not reversed. This is the six of water. It's still that same type of energy. You know, it's that, you know, that, and I'm feeling kind of like that romantic. It's also that nostalgic type of energy. It's kind of like, you know, are you trying to recreate the past from, you know, is this weekend about about recreating the past? Is it about reaching out to some past? And I don't know why this is because, you know, I don't go down this road. It, But I'm getting past lovers, past boyfriend, girlfriends, past intimate, you know, um, relationships. Now, you know, when I talk about relationships, they can be your work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. 
It could also be something to do with your family and your home. But it's something, this is again, this is so, so darn emotional. You know, this is so emotional. This is, you You know, you might be reaching back, reaching to a past relationship. Now, um, not quite sure. We will be going into um, Mercury retrograde, and that's where a lot of that those past relationships come back in. I think we might actually be in the shadow. But again, you know, um, you know, not quite sure. We might be in the shadow, so this might, but again, there is this really strong thinking of the past, you know, nostalgic. Again, your heart is beating. Your heart is really racing. It's really, you know, uh, again, you know, again, you're going to need, I feel like you're going to need a little bit of comfort and a little bit of guidance through this weekend. Reach out. Anyway, memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Now, so so here you have this kind of this want. You have this kind of this need, this kind of this, you know, something to do nostalgia, something to do wanting it in the future. Kind of like, you know, maybe you had a relationship in the past and it could have been with any, you know, your worker. And it's like, I want this now for me now. Maybe you weren't ready in the past and now it's like, no, now I am ready for this. So, you know, the thing is about, you know, the past though is, is the past. We do have tendencies to try to recreate the past, but the past is now gone, okay? It is now gone. It is now behind us. So the thing is we learn from the past, we learn from our history, and we learn about the things we don't want to repeat, okay? And I, I really feel like I need to tell you that because your third card is reversed, so really strong energy. This is Archangel Gabriel. This is the Empress, okay? And this is about, you know, I, I always feel like with the Empress, it's like the universe is kind of smiling down at you and saying, yes, what is it that you want? What is it that you need, my Aquarian? What is it that you're looking to do? Put it out there. If it is within divine plan, put your arms out, have some trust and say, I want it. I receive it. Okay. So you got, you got a really strong, you got this emotional, again, I feel like that heart is just like it's just beating so loudly. And, you know, there's some things, you know, there's some things that you're readjusting to from that past. But now the thing is, I really want it. And again, maybe you weren't ready for it in the past. Maybe you weren't ready, um, you know, for the responsibilities. And, you know, that could be about a wonderful job or a new job opportunity. It could be about, you know, the relation, the other intimate relationship could be about a home, a family. And maybe you weren't ready for it, but now you're getting ready. And you're kind of, you know, again, that heart is beating and it's beating so steadily and so much. I really feel I want to just calm myself down with this. But then again, Archangel Gabriel, here's news. So there might be some news. You can never quite, re like I said, you can never recreate the past, but it doesn't mean that you can't take the lessons from the past and make the present and the future that much better. Okay, so the Empress Archangel Gabriel, uh, um, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Okay, so take, so to me, that kind of means that, um, you know, what is it that you've been wanting? Because it's kind of like it's cycling back into your life. Now, it's not the same. I really want to get that. It's not the same, but it could be the, um, you know, the 2.0 version. Okay, does that make sense? I mean, I'm really, it was really kind of getting, ah, okay. Well, let's see. We have two cards <laughs> that flew. Sorry about the ah. Okay, I don't quite know which one was, I mean, okay, they're both face down. I'm not sure which one was first, so I'm just putting them down like this. The first card is reversed. Here we go. First card is the four of Raphael. Now, Raphael, again. Again, is that water energy. Now, fours have a little bit of a stabilizing type of energy, too. So it's kind of like things, you know, it's kind of like shifting sand, not, you know, slowing down as it shifts, okay? It's kind of like this, the ground is settling in a little bit. But again, there, you know, again, this is, this is about looking into, like I said, this is like 2.0. It's not quite the past. It's like, it's better than the past. It's 2.0. Okay? Okay. 
Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. And again, with that magic of life, magic in life, again, there is a supernatural energy that goes through. And people, you know, if you're here, you walk a bit in the natural, a bit in the supernatural. So again, put it out there. Put out there what it is you're looking for. Put out there, you know, and also, you know, we can always preface, preface it with, if it be within the divine plan, okay? Okay, no disrespect, just could we. Anyway, your last card face down again is the sun, okay? And this is Archangel Uriel. And this is it all coming together. This is life is wonderful. I mean, the sun comes out, you know, um, the sun is shining, the sun dries up the rain, the sun, you know, the sun brings you that wonderful vitamin D. So this is, again, you know, this is a lot of this. I mean, a lot of this is about getting to where you are. Okay, getting to where you are. Seeing more of the reality of the situation. Feeling the reality of the situation. And because you're doing a lot, because you're doing that, and you're, you're learning from that past, and it's like you now have you now have, your path is lit. Your path is lit, okay? So this weekend feels like it's going to be pretty pivotal for you, my Aquarians. Okay, so life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking. Remember, I'm always telling you, thoughts positive, words positive, and inspiring success. So really, really, this is, you know, there's, there again, that heart pounding is, is really jumping at me. But again, I don't have to understand. I, my job is just to deliver the message to you, okay? And I really hope someone out there does understand. Okay, my Aquarians, remember the button down there. Please like, please share, please subscribe. It does help. And as always, my Aquariuses, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.